Dear friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on arrays and functions. In this tutorial, we will learn to pass an array to a function, use of exit statement in a function, use of return statement in a function, with the help of some examples. To follow this tutorial, you should have knowledge of shell scripting. You should also have knowledge of arrays and if statement in bash. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website which is as shown. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system and GNU bash version 4.2. Please note, GNU bash version 4 or above is recommended to practice this tutorial. Let us first learn how to pass an array to a function and its usage. Let me open a file function underscore array dot sh. This is the shebang line. Our function name is array underscore display. Open curly brace opens the function definition. The use of dollar at sign was explained in previous tutorials in this series. Basically, it is used to print all arguments passed to a function. Dollar at sign within round brackets stores array elements in variable array. Dollar opening curly brace array within square bracket at sign closing curly brace. This line of code displays all the elements of an array. Dollar opening curly brace array within square bracket 1 closing curly brace. This line of code displays the second element of the array. Operating systems is declared with the elements Ubuntu, Fedora, Red Hat and Seuss. Here array operating systems is passed to the function array display. The syntax to pass an array to a function is function name space dollar opening curly brace array name within square bracket at sign closing curly brace. Come back to a program. Similarly, colors is declared with the elements white, green, red and blue. Here, array colors is passed to the function array display. Now let's save the file and go to the terminal. Type chmod space plus x space function underscore array dot sh. Press enter. Type dot slash function underscore array dot sh. Press enter. As we can see, array elements of operating systems and colors are displayed. And the second array element of operating systems and colors are also displayed. In bash, exit and return statements give status code of a function or a program. The return statement will return to the script from where it was called. Exit statement will end the entire script from where it is encountered. Let us learn these two ways to return within a function. Let me open a file return underscore exit dot sh. This is the shebang line. Function name is return underscore function. Open curly brace opens the function definition. This if statement compares two variables. If the two variables are equal, then commands in if are executed. This echo statement displays the message, this is return function. Return 0 moves the control from function to main program with status code 0. Note that the statement after return will not be executed in a function. FI indicates the end of if statement. Here the function name is 
exit underscore function. The if statement here compares two variables. If the two variables are equal, then the command in if are executed. This echo statement displays the message this is exit function. Exit 0 will terminate the program. FI indicates the end of this if statement. This is a function call with arguments 3 and 3. This displays the message we are in main program. This is another function call with arguments 3 and 3. This echo statement displays the message this line is not displayed. Note that exit will terminate the program. Anything after exit will not be executed. Save the file and go to the terminal. Type chmod space plus x space return underscore exit dot sh. Press enter. Type dot slash return underscore exit dot sh. Press enter. The output displays the messages as shown. Now let us understand the flow of the program. The control will be in main program which is the script itself. The control goes to return function because of the function call. As the two variables are equal, it displays the message. This is return function. Then it encounters return zero. And the control flows from the function to the statement below the function call in the main program. Then it displays the message we are in main program. After that, the control goes to the exit function because of the function call. As the two variables are equal, it displays the message this is exit function. Then it encounters exit 0. This will terminate the program. Any statement after exit will not be executed. Also the statement this line is not displayed will not be executed. Hope the difference is clear to you. Let us now summarize. In this tutorial we learnt to pass an array to a function Use of exit statement in a function. Use of return statement in a function. With the help of some examples. As an assignment, write a program where a function adds all the elements in an array. The function should display the sum of elements. Make two function calls with array elements 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. The script has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial teams. This is Ashwini Patil from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.